How do you imagine the unimaginable? How do you conceive of what you can't conceive of? And how do you try and look for these amazing unknowns? If you're working on the superconducting super collider, it's really hard to explain to someone at a cocktail party what you do and why it's important. And it is. I mean, it's really fundamental physics. It's wonderful. But if you, at a cocktail party, talk to someone and say, I'm working on something that may allow us to figure out whether there's any other life beyond Earth, particularly intelligent life. Wow, I mean, they get it, it's easy. And almost everyone I speak to is excited about that idea. What is it we look for? Do we find a way to just see ourselves, a projection of ourselves on steroids? Do we have the ability to, um, to think and imagine what another technology might be like. And how would, you, how would you find it with today's 21st century tools when they may be using technologies or physics that we haven't invented yet? How do you think about finding the unknown when you don't know how to define it. If I could invent something that didn't exist, I'd invent a way to instantaneously share massive amounts of data with people worldwide um, who could build their own special way of looking at the data, looking for different kinds of things. Now, the cloud exists. What's missing is a way to distribute the enormous deluge of data that comes into the telescope in real time to the cloud and to the people around the world who have really good ideas. I think SETI is something that gives us this extraordinary opportunity to see ourselves in a different way and change our perspective. And if we could change the way people around the world thought about who they are and how they fit in and that they are part of a really big, 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 big picture, I think we could do a lot of creative things in terms of solving the problems and reducing the tensions among nations and among individuals.